Hey guys, we thought some of you might find this a little bit interesting. As you will soon see, this beer is a rather interesting beer, but also the packaging itself, the can itself, is sort of interesting. So that says, Keith and I, sorry, which means we didn't listen, or didn't listen, sorry, didn't listen. So it's an interesting combination of English and Japanese on the packaging. This is interesting, look at this, it says, I'm sorry, I didn't ask you what you like, so that's what it was talking about on the front there, sorry we didn't listen. We brewed a truly Japanese beer that we wanted to drink without being bound to the conventional beer styles and standard recipes. They're talking about the fact that they've put bonito flakes in there, which is fish flakes, right? We've showed you bonito flakes before and we've showed you okinomiyaki and other food like that in Japan that's served with the fish flakes on top. Usually not beer. Umami Ipa brewed with dried bonito. Umami, the savory profile extract from bonito flakes, increases complex flavors and unique aromas, taking your palate to another world. So Yoho Brewing Japan is a boutique beer company that brews a variety of different beers that we can find in bottle shops and even convenience stores. We found this one in a convenience store. But they put some interesting ingredients in there. They put fruit juice in there as well. And of course the Benito fish flakes. And the end result is sort of an orange colored beer that really wasn't very good. It was a bit spicy. That's why they've got the flames and the radical looking dude on the front there. It is a little bit spicy and it definitely has a fish aftertaste. It's a pretty crap beer <laughs> to be honest. But you got to buy it because it's fascinating, isn't it? Look at that. Yahoo! It says on the right there, which is sort of like Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Yahoo! Fish beer in Japan. More videos coming soon.